Law of Attraction is the Basis of Creation Posted on July 28, 2011 You cannot truly enjoy life until you align with your potential as a creator. The world you see around you is just creation. It's just thought condensed into physicalness. Who is focusing on these thoughts? And how are thoughts being converted to physical realities? Have you ever wondered who is keeping this entire physical reality that you call the cosmos in place? Or do you simply accept some vague spiritual explanation without wanting to know the real physics or science behind it? As a human being living in this universe, it's important that you know the universe functions, how creation functions, so that you are no longer an ignorant player playing the game of life, but a strongly aware and knowing player who is aligned with the reality of life. What is law of attraction and how does it influence creation? Your attention causes condensation of thoughts. This is your power and this is what makes you a creator. You are essentially the same energy that has created this cosmos. You are the same consciousness, the one being. You can call yourself whatever you want. God, consciousness, energy, spirit, awareness, vibration, space, Brahman, Buddha nature, higher mind, any word that floats your boat is fine. The words are not important. What's important is the recognition that you are the one being that has created this whole cosmos. This is not a trivia, but a deep realization that can change the whole perspective with which you view your life. Your attention is precious because it's highly powerful in its ability to create realities. So be very careful what you give your attention to. You have no idea how powerfully you are creating your reality simply by giving attention to certain thoughts, feelings, or realities. Whatever you give attention to starts condensing into a reality in your life. So if you give chronic attention to thoughts of lack, poverty, illness, scarcity, anger, or hate, guess what your reality is going to look like? There is no getting around this. You cannot have a reality that is opposite of what you are giving attention to. You cannot give attention to lack and expect to have a reality of, of abundance. So who is giving attention to the universe and cosmos? Who is keeping the universe in place with their attention? Is it you? The answer is yes. The real total you is doing this job. The real you is the one vast space of consciousness, which is all that's present. The one being. This consciousness has created the reality that you call the cosmos through giving attention to its thought. Every physical creation is a thought first before it takes a condensed physical form. So the sun is in place because universal consciousness keeps this reality in its attention. Consciousness is always awake 24-7 and hence your physical reality stays in place and keeps expanding through each desire. The good news is that the universal consciousness takes up each of your individual desires, the desires which are in sync with your natural expression, not the deluded desires created purely from an egoic perspective. Every desire that is emanated by a physical being is taken up by the universal consciousness. Don't forget that the real you is this universal consciousness, so don't look at it as separate from you. It's a great relief to know that you don't have to constantly keep your attention on your desires to manifest them because the universal consciousness is doing this job for you. All you need to do is stop giving attention to negative thoughts or negativity so that you don't create an opposite or resistive movement to the flow of life. If you just allow yourself to relax and not give chronic attention to your fears, 
Life will easily manifest your desired realities quickly, efficiently, and effortlessly.